Hey everybody, Lee Speed here. <laughs> oh god, after that last episode with Prophecy or whatever, um, yeah, um, I was pretty depressed when I was doing the narration, wasn't I? <laughs> or just very uncertain, and honestly, I still am, but you know, I'm not gonna talk too much about it because, you know, I already gave my two thoughts about it and stuff like that. What I'm going to talk about is the Mecha Phantom Beasts, which were formerly the Mecha Phantom Beasts craft or whatever. Now, the Mecha Phantom Beasts, I, I did talk about them in a previous video. I talked about the individual monsters and how they work and stuff like that. And, you know, what I honestly thought about the archetype. And I thought that they have potential and I, I really like the archetype. It's pretty cool. Now, they did get new support in... Uh, the next set after uh, Lord of the Tekion Galaxy uh, Judgment of the Light which has quite a bit of hype behind it you know much like with Lord of the Tekion Galaxy I swear Lord of the Tekion Galaxy is, got, is one of the most insane sets right now in terms of hype but yeah the Mecha Phantom Beasts have new support cards in uh, Judgment of the Light they got they got a couple of new Mega Phantom Beast Plane monsters. They got a couple of Mega Phantom Beast Plane monsters that are tuners. And they even got they got like a spell and a trap. And they got a synchro monster, which is like, what? Yeah, synchro monsters. You know, those white cards. Yeah, unless you were playing like certain decks, you probably have no idea. But yeah, the only problem with me talking about those right now is that since we don't know everything in Judgment of the Light, I'm not sure if that's all the monsters because I don't want to talk about all the current monsters the new support cards and and there'll be more later that I didn't cover because oh they weren't they didn't get revealed yet like I, I want to wait till more stuff gets revealed or if like the whole set gets revealed and spoiled and stuff like that but I will talk about one uh, one bit of the new support card is the, the, their Synchro Monster. Their Mecha Phantom Beast Conqueruda. Now, yeah, he's a Synchro, so he's a level 7 Wind Machine Synchro Monster with an effect. He's got 2400 attack and 1200 defense. You know, it's decent stats all around. And he just requires one tuner and one or more non-tuner monsters. So he's generic. Any deck can make him, even though I don't think any other deck other than Mecha Phantom Beast would really make this guy or even benefit off this guy being played. But anyways, for his effect. Tokens you control cannot be destroyed by battle or by card effects. If this card on the field is destroyed by your opponent's card, either by battle or by card effect, and sent to your graveyard, you contribute all tokens to target one level 4 or lower Mecha Phantom Beast playing monster in your graveyard, special summon that target. Alright, so first off, he was a little bit different from the others. When the with the other Mecha Phantom Beasts, they're pretty much like, oh, they can't be destroyed by battle or by card effects while you have a token. This guy's the opposite. He protects the tokens from being destroyed by battle or by card effects. So if you want to get rid of the tokens, you got to get past this guy first, which is nice. It's a nice effect because for the Mecha Phantom Beasts, they need tokens on the field to do stuff, and protecting them is excellent. So. Without having to use stuff like Waboku every time, you can use this guy if you want. And they have a, since the Mecha Phantom Beasts have a couple of uh, tuner monsters, you know, making this guy isn't too hard. Especially when one of them lets you synchro summon using it on the field, and then the other non tuner monsters can be in your hand. So if you have this guy, if you have the tuner, and then let's say you have uh, Tether Wolf, you can sync them up to make this guy without you know using up too much of your resources i guess if you will but um now his other his effect to bring back a mecha phantom beast plane monster in the grave and special summoning it it sounds pretty good right it sounds pretty good on paper now i know that there's one thing that turns me off about that effect and i think that people might agree with me on this maybe people won't it's the it's the it's the cost you have to pay to do it. You have to you tribute all tokens to bring back a Mega Phantom Beast playing monster. Now that wouldn't be bad, but here's the problem though. There might be a situation where your opponent's got a bunch of monsters, like a bunch of big beaters, 
if they just happen to destroy this guy in battle, I mean, a lot of decks can do that now because, you know, Dark Worlds, you know, they have Graffa and stuff like that, but, you know, Mermails can just go, oh, summon Abyss Spike, uh, pitch Atlantean Heavy Infantry, search something, and then pop him. Like, if they have a bunch of monsters, his effect isn't as good because you have to tribute all the tokens to bring back a monster. And now, here's the thing though. The Mega Phantom Beasts, if they want to stay safe from battle or card effects, they need to have tokens. But you're not going to have any tokens when you use the Conquer Rooters effect. So, basically, you're kind of wide open. A little bit. Now, one thing you could do to rectify this problem is if you have Mega Phantom Beast, Mega Raptor, he's like your Stratos. And if you have Aerial Recharge. Now, Aerial Recharge is great with Mega Raptor because you're able to summon a token with Aerial Recharge because it's a once per turn continuous trap effect. But Mega Raptor summons a token after you summon one. So you could technically do that. But other than that, it's like even if you were to use Aerial Recharge, let's say you brought back a Tether Wolf and then they're going to attack your Tether Wolf, you can use the effect of. Uh, Aerial Recharge if you didn't already on your opponent's turn to bring back a token. Now here's the problem though. They're going to probably attack your token, not your Tether Wolf. Because, you know, they can't be destroying Battle Bar Codifex. I mean, why not just take out the tokens first? And, like, I don't know. Like, Kangarudas, it's a good Synchro Monster. I think it's a pretty good. That first effect that's protecting all your tokens from being destroyed by Battle Bar Codifex, it's amazing. I think that's a really good effect. And it complements the archetype well because keeping the tokens on the field for your Mecha Phantom Beast to do what they need to do is awesome. But I don't like that you gotta sacrifice all of your tokens on the field to bring back a Mecha Phantom Beast. And especially when you're in a situation where your opponent's just swarming the field, that's not good because you're pretty much wide open. They can just take out your monster and again, unless you're running the aerial recharge or something like that it's kind of meh but that's just my opinion it's good though so yeah um let me know what you guys think about this guy and the mecha phantom beast playing archetype i think they have potential but we'll have to see so yeah talk to you guys later